from right to left. Ooh, dude, that was weird. Unexplained Cases is supported by the American Paranormal Press. Carrie Nyon. And Cullen Therapies. There's just something special about small town main streets. Something nostalgic, simple, all American, and unusual. I mean, that's actually the name of the store. Unusual Company of Ellicott City is known for world famous authentic Italian gelato and non dairy options, movie memorabilia collectibles, comics, and art, all wrapped up in a circa 1905 bank building. Unusual is the perfect name. Wall to wall, and on each of their two floors, they have an amazing collection of merch and products for every level of fan. When I first visited the location, of course, I, I loved all the collectibles. And... I still need to try the gelato. But I sensed there was something else too unusual. Maybe it was just a hunch. A store catering to this kind of wear might attract some spooky visitors. Or maybe it was intuition, sensing that there was more in this store than meets the eye. So. I reached out to Unusual and inquired about our conducting an investigation of the property and asked if they had experienced anything paranormal. There is an old story of a lady in a blue dress that haunts the building. She used to work at the bank, Washington Trust Company, and passed away on the top floor of the building. Now, in our research, we couldn't find any mention of a death or haunting in the structure. but. It does have quite a bit of history. Originally, the building was the Washington Trust Company, founded in May 1903. They were an alternative to the other Main Street Bank, the Patapsco National Bank. The Washington Trust Company didn't survive the Depression and went out of business in 1934. Then the space became the Commercial and Farmers Bank until 1999 when it was bought out by Farmers and Mechanics National Bank. Two years later, that bank closed and the space has since been used for business. As their website states, after the Ellicott City flood of 2018, our family wanted to do something to give back to the community. We saw many buildings vacant and hardly any stores or people walking and visiting the small town as we have always known it. All of us visited old Ellicott City Main Street as kids. There are so many memories of walking up and down Main Street, visiting the small shops. We decided to rent a building and developed a retail concept that would be fun and unique for people to visit. Mark Russo, a local artist, is friends with the owner who allowed him to call the third floor home for about a week in December 2020. One night, Mark had some unexplained encounters. I was up on the third floor and then uh, one of the evenings, it was around uh, 1.30, maybe two o'clock in the morning <clears throat> when I just uh, heard just some, uh, some unnecessary creaking, like just some odd, just, this is an old building. It's made out of stone. It has a foundation. I don't think there's a whole lot of like settling in this bank. And it just seemed a little out of place that, you know, I'm, I'm laying up in the, uh, the windowsill and I can see the street light coming, uh, the, the lights from the street coming in. And I just kind of stared into the darkness of the long third floor. And I was like, uh, I was half asleep and I rolled over and I heard that loud creaking noise. 
And um, that's when I kind of just said out loud, I was like, you know, and jokingly, uh, I said, uh, I'm not gonna be here long. Uh, I'm just here for a little bit. Uh, so I don't mean to bother you. And I just kind of like rolled over and went back to sleep, just kind of like half jokingly. And I never heard anything since, but um, <clears throat> the following night, I just, uh, you know, I was just laying up sleeping and, and just kind of like dazing in and out. And I was just like, you know, I just can't help but feel like there's an energy here, not a bad energy, not a good, like nothing bad, just a presence, almost like when your back is turned and you can feel when somebody comes into the room, there's like a, like a silence in the air, like a something. Mark shared with us a video that he captured in August 2019. A chandelier at the front of the store is clearly swaying compared to the others. So I just walked into the shop and this is the only light that is moving. I promise you I did not touch it in any way. It's just steadily rocking. The only one. No one touched it. It doesn't seem to be slowing down either. Did you see a little glitch? not making this up. This is not a prank. I promise you nobody did anything to move it. Considering the variables of AC air, ceiling fans, and possible air from outside, a moving chandelier isn't entirely unexplained. And yet, under similar conditions, the same chandelier was not moving during our visit. So, as you can see, fan is on full blast. Chandelier is not moving at all. Equally, fan going, but this is what was happening last time. Those two weren't moving. This one was. and conditions would seem to be the same. Devin Banks, an employee of Unusual and friend of the owners, has spent many nights at the store. There's supposed to be this lady in a blue dress that I've never seen, never really even spent a night here, haven't seen, but every now and then it, things do get creepy. I mean, of course, with all these statues, like, especially when it's all pitch black, it, it seems to be a little creepy. Um, I'll hear like creaks in the floor, but I'll just assume like that's like it's settling, like you hear weird noises like that all through the night. Um, I'll like sometimes I'll have this feeling like I'm like something's over behind me or like I'll peek over my shoulder, but there's nothing there. Uh, but for like things actually happening, I haven't had any super experiences yet. We began our investigation by conducting a sweep of the building. Partially this is done to get a feel of the structure to determine if anything okay. feels off or different. We're looking for cold or warm spots and any place that either makes body hair stand up or produces a dizzy or even nauseous feeling. We're also looking for any areas with high or variable EMF, electromagnetic fields. With power in the building, EMF is expected as these fields can emanate from electrical lines. If present, those fields tend to be constant, but if those fields fluctuate, well, that's worth noting. And again, there's nothing paranormal about electromagnetic fields. These are man-made and naturally occurring, but in some cases, these fields seem to be associated with neither man or nature, which is why Theories support ghosts producing their own EMF or being able to manipulate existing fields to
to communicate with the living. But see, it's just like it's a pocket. Yeah. But it's consistent, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And now you're up to 68.3. Of course, I think also the, they shut off the, maybe the AC yeah. too. But see, this is correlating because now what you just had, see. Now that's, yeah, that's gone. That's, that's solid. The use of cat ball toys in investigations is a relatively new procedure. The idea is that if they are lighting up and there's nothing to produce contact or vibration, well, something unexplained is going on. There's one particular brand that's sensitive enough, and at first that sounds problematic, as one might think the slightest movement could make them light up. However, in the following video, you'll see not only is that not true, but also we seem to be getting intelligent responses via at least one of these toys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you make any of the other ones go off? Can you do that again? Can you make the middle one turn on? Can you move the ball in the middle? acting a little flaky but the fact that that first one went off yeah and yeah, just that again yeah thank you no do it again very nice thank you so much I really appreciate that isn't it pretty those are pretty colors Can you make any of the other ones go off? Or is that the easiest one? And that the other one might be hard. But if you can make that first one go off again, that'd be really cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. That's fun. Do you like seeing those lights? Oh, fantastic. Okay, so you're back. Are, can you tell us who you are? If you are the lady in blue, oh, thank you. If you are the lady in blue, can you keep it going? Are you a woman? Are you a man? If you're a man, turn it back on. Are you a, a woman? Or are you the man who built this building? Hmm, thank you. Did you build it? Did you build this place in 1906? If it was before 1906, turn the light on.
If it was after 1906, turn the light on. Do you not know, do you not remember the date? The property has four floors. The first and the second is seen by customers of the store, the basement used for storage, and the third to which we didn't have access. Mike and I spent most of our time on the first and second floors conducting EVP, Spirit Box, and Estes Method sessions. There was a loud scream. Was that you, the, the lady in blue? Was that you? We would really like to hear from anyone that's here. Is there a woman in blue? We heard there is. Help her? Help her? How do you want us to help her? Is she in trouble? Did she die here? No. Where did she die? Major chills. That's me, not voice. Major chills. Are you here with us? My right. right. Were you in the Civil War? Are you a male? Are you a man or a female? Maybe later. Creepy voice said that. Maybe later? What, what, what is later? You're gonna tell Good us. for you. You're going to tell us later? I changed. You changed? How did you change? Tyro ball. Did you live here in Ellicott City? Were you here before the bank was uh, built? Oh. Are you are you in pain? Are you shot? Pardon me. Part of you is in pain? You're covered. You doubt. I don't doubt. I told I believe. Can you, can you make a noise? Can you tell Rick? You There's tell a secret? Him? Yes. Is it a secret? Who are you? I'd really like to know your name. What is your name? Can you confirm what year? You were here? Goodbye. Goodbye. You're leaving? Good night. Are you leaving? Mike also deployed a technique that he's used with other teams in many locations where spirits are asked to identify the number, color, or suite of a playing card. What's this number? Can you tell me what this number is? What card is this? 
What part is this? What part is this? What part is this? So I'm curious about the lady in blue. I performed an initial sweep of the basement, including using the cat ball toys, but it was rather quiet. No responses on the toys. Nothing out of the ordinary. But when Mike and I explored the basement together, with the lights out, something unexpected happened. So if anyone is down here with us, I have a device in my hand that if you make contact with it, it will light up. Is there anyone here? And would you be willing to just touch this device? No, Rick said he heard a voice over here in this corner. Are you over here? Is there a person here? Or do you live down here? Hey, Rick. Yeah. Move around. What? Move. Who? Do what? Turn that light off for a second. When you were over there, damn it, I wish I had my thing. There was a shadow right across that wall. Oh, really? And I don't know where that light's kind of... It must be from upstairs. Yeah, that's the emergency light. Dang, it's cold over here. I know. Damn, I wonder if that was you well, walking so, over there. So let's see. So let me... Let's reproduce it because I walked over. I'll basically retrace my steps. Came over here. Nope. I stopped right here. Nope. And that's about when you said my name. Nope. So you didn't you're not seeing it? Nope. Okay, so somebody's down here. Or was. It went across the whole wall. Almost I would say for about two feet from the top. And it went from right to left. Okay, so hold on. Well, I mean, if you're recording, then you've captured that description. So uh, no, no need for me to come back and capture it. Who was that? Who, who was the shadow person? I'd like to see that see you again. If if the shadow person is here, can you make the the lights go off on this on this piece of equipment? It's right here in front of us. It's got a green light on it. If you touch it, it'll make different colors. Can you show Rick what I saw? Can you show yourself again across that wall? See, it couldn't have been you because you were going that way. Mm -hmm. And it went from right to left. Oh. And that's why originally I thought, well, is there someone upstairs? 
channel was cast in the shadow, but it wasn't because it was going this way. Interesting. Oh, dude, that was weird. Yeah, that ranks up there. Did Mike see a shadow person? Well, there's no way to be certain, but I believe he saw something. Something unusual. But we also had unusual experiences in the vault. An area that employees feel very uneasy around. You good? You good? See, there's a little bit of energy over here. And here's our bad boy. Which, just to give the uh, impression she was talking about. Mm -hmm. All right, we're in a, what is, is this another vault? Yeah. Down in the basement. So, is unusual company of Ellicott City haunted? With Ellicott City's long history, and it being next to a river, the Patapsco, and rivers are theorized to provide energy for paranormal activity, there's no surprise that there are ghosts all over Ellicott City. For now, Visit this local business, browse their amazing collections, and you'll likely find something or a few somethings to suit your fancy. Also, enjoy the gelato, but don't be too surprised if you think someone's looking over your shoulder. They just may be. They may not be someone you can see. <laughs> Reporting for Unexplained Cases, I'm Rick Garner.